This is Bleaklow, in the far north of the English Peak District. It's renowned as one of the hardest places to navigate in Britain, a great mass of peat and grit where paths appear and disappear at random. So it's the perfect place to test out one of these. At brass tacks, a GPS is a tool for finding your location. But that's only a fraction of what a good GPS can unlock for you. To prove it, we're using a high-end model, the Garmin Montana 650T, which is a consistent strong performer in our magazine's country walking and trail. We like it because it's lightweight, it's robust, it's shockproof and waterproof. And it takes some of its cues from the smartphone world, which is useful when you're navigating. But what's even more important is what's inside it, mapping software. I've loaded this unit with full ordnance survey mapping for the area, both at 1 to 50,000 scale. And if I zoom in, 1 to 25,000 scale as well. This means that unlike more basic GPS packages, this will show me my location at a glance and in the context of the terrain around me. And today I've got a very special mission for it to help me with. I've worked out my route using the free Garmin Basecamp software, I've put it in the device, and now all I need to do is press go. At the moment I'm following the Pennine Way, which is the only safe, clear and waymarked path across Bleaklow. But my goal is something that lies far off the beaten track. This is as far as I go on the marked path. Somewhere that way, in the wild of the moor, lie the remains of a Boeing Superfortress bomber which crashed on Bleak Clough in 1948. It's one of the most dramatic and moving sights in the whole of the National Park, but because it's so isolated, few people ever actually find it. I've been to it before, but it was without a GPS. It took a lot of hassle, taking bearings, following hunches, and going wrong quite a bit. The aim today, is to walk straight to it. Using the mapping software, I've plotted what should be a simple and direct route to the wreck, avoiding any serious ascent and descent. On a more simple GPS, I wouldn't know what the terrain was doing around me, but here I can see perfectly. The unit provides added reassurance by showing me a compass and an altimeter, so I can check my position against spot heights on the map. As you can see, this is pretty tough terrain for navigating. It's very trackless, and uh, without one of these, I'd be in trouble. On the other hand, according to this, I'm right on top of it. Ah. extraordinary sight and the fact that I've been able to get here without having my head buried in a map the whole time just means I'm more able to appreciate the very haunting and affecting quality that this particular site has.
One more thing to do while I'm here is a picture. The Montana comes with a five megapixel camera, which will create images big enough to use in our magazines, um, and obviously also to, to tag and to share. Effectively, I can take a picture of this, and if I come back here, I can ask the, uh, the GPS to walk to that picture. So there you have it. That's the kind of moment that a really good GPS can help unlock for you. And as you lose all sense of direction once you arrive here, it's a good job I've got it to take me home. Thanks for watching.